Hi, this is Chad Johnson, and today I'm doing a test of the audio of the GoPro Hero 3. Right now you're hearing the audio from the built-in microphones with no case at all on it. No frame and no case. This is just what the naked stereo microphones sound like. And I'm going to try a couple small uh, mini shotguns that you can plug in using the USB component cable uh, that you can get from GoPro and maybe I'll try a lavalier or two also but right now this is just how it sounds with no obstructions with the built-in microphones okay right now I'm listening to the GoPro Hero 3 with the built-in microphones only I'm using the frame which is not a full case it's just a bare bones uh, frame that holds the camera but allows you access to the USB port. I don't know why they didn't make a skeleton case but this frame is a light way to hold the camera and have access to the USB port. But uh, I've listened to this before and there was an odd sound. Let's hear if that weird sound is happening now. On the frame there are these little holes that appear to be screens that allow sound to come into the built-in microphones and maybe protect against dust. I started to take them off and they were just stick-on strips uh, but for some reason the audio is messed up in my opinion on this uh, so I'm thinking about just digging a hole out there to have access to the built-in mics. Okay this is the GoPro Hero 3 and what it sounds like in the standard case that it comes in only I don't have it in the waterproof I have the back on it that allows air to get in so you have a little bit better audio and so this is what it sounds like with the full case on it skeleton case please So now I'm going to try out a few different miniature shotguns plugged in directly to the Hero 3 and I'm going to try them out at all the different settings to see which ones work best with the AGC going on in the camera because you've got no in-camera adjustments. So I've got to find the right combination of settings on the shotguns to get the best working sound for me and hopefully for you on your camera. So right now you're listening to the Q-Audio Mini Shotgun Pro set to 0 dB gain. This is 0 dB gain. I've listened to some of these already and I'm pretty sure that 0 dB is not enough. Okay, now we're listening to the Q-Audio Mini Shotgun Pro at plus 10 dB gain. And uh, listening to this before, I think this is the sweet spot. 10 dB gain helps and 20 dB seemed like it was a little bit too much but anyhow you're listening to 10 dB gain I have a feeling this is the sweet spot but now let's move to 20 dB gain and see how that sounds now we're listening to the Q audio mini shotgun pro at 20 dB gain I have a feeling it might be a little too much for the AGC to deal with and uh, also we'll see how it sounds if you talk a little bit loud might be a little too much the AGC clamps down on that volume and anyways this is 20 dB gain with the Q audio mini shotgun pro now we're moving on to the Honel MK200 okay now we're listening to the Honel MK200 at 0 dB gain and it's also got a low cut on it but that's not engaged yet okay now we're listening to the Honel MK200 again uh, at plus 10 dB gain with no low cut engaged yet I'm gonna try that next but this is at plus 10 dB I think in my previous test that uh, plus 10 dB seems to be the sweet spot for these and I've only got two mics with a plus 10 dB boost now you're listening to the Honel MK200 with plus 10 dB gain engaged and the low cut filter engaged now we're listening to the Rode VideoMic Pro plugged in directly into the GoPro Hero 3 using the USB component cable or audio cable. Uh, the VideoMic Pro is set to 0 dB gain and the low cut is not engaged. 
So this is how it sounds with no gain. I'm going to boost the gain. It's got a 20 dB boost, and I'm gonna see how that sounds now. Now you're listening to the Video Mic Pro from Rode with the 20 dB boost engaged, and let's hear the noise. Um, I listened to this before and 20 dB seemed to be a little too much boost to go into the Hero 3, so you might need some kind of a uh, external box to kind of get somewhere between 0 and 20 dB gain if you're going to use this mic, but uh, it might just work out, I don't know. I'm going to try it right now with the low cut engaged. Now we're listening to the Rode VideoMic Pro with 20 dB boost engaged as well as the low cut engaged. Not sure how different that's going to sound because I have no way of monitoring this in the GoPro Hero 3, but we are listening to the Rode VideoMic Pro 20 dB boost, low cut engaged, and talking loud! And talking loud! Let's see how the GoPro Hero 3 handles a little loud talking because things can get loud! Okay, now I'm going to go back down to zero. DB. Again, listening to the Rode VideoMic Pro at 0 dB with the low cut engaged. Okay, this is the Sennheiser MKE 400. I've got it in the boost mode. I don't know if it's 10 or 20 boost. Um, I do know that uh, with no boost, it's really low, so I'm not even going to bother with it. And it's already a pretty bright mic, so I'm not going to use the low cut wind filter on it either. This is how it is with the boost. Let's just see how it sounds going into the GoPro Hero 3. Talking loud! Talking loud! I'm not sure how it's gonna sound, but we'll see very soon. Okay, now we're listening to the Q-Audio DA12 head-worn microphone plugged directly into the GoPro Hero 3. So uh, I'm not expecting it to be loud enough because uh, it seemed like the boosted shotguns were uh, what really sounded the best. But I'm testing it out. You never know. Uh, this has a sensitivity of negative 45 dB. It's usually good for singers and loud talkers and uh, using professional audio equipment, not a little GoPro Hero, but you never know. You might want to be able to strap this to your head and have a lavalier to where you can do a first person uh, narration of something. Anyways, we're listening to the Q-Audio DA12 head-worn mic, and now I'm going to try talking a little bit louder just to see how it sounds. Talking a little bit louder, and how about the noise? Now let's move over to the only other head-worn mic I have, the HS1 from Rode Microphones. Okay, now we're listening to the Rode HS1 headset mic, and uh, it's got a sensitivity of negative 33.5. We're giving everybody a fair shot here to sound good in the GoPro Hero 3. And now I'm going to talk loud to see how it sounds, talking loud. Maybe you're standing out in a windstorm and you got to yell over the wind, <clears throat> but uh, most likely you'll be talking at a normal level. And so this is how this mic sounds plugged directly into the GoPro Hero 3. Okay, now we're listening to the Rode Pin Mic plugged directly into the GoPro Hero 3. It's got the same capsule as the HS1, so uh, it should sound uh, about the same except for the HS1 was really close to my mouth. So this is the Rode pin mic, and I'm talking loud now, talking loud to see how the signal to noise ratio and the AGC reacts to loud talking. And again, uh, this is the Rode pin mic. Okay, now we're listening to the Q-Audio DA04 Lavalier, and it's got a sensitivity of about negative 45 dB. It's a little less sensitive than the Rode mic that I was wearing, and uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be loud enough because it's a little further away from my mouth than when I was wearing the head-worn mic. That sounded pretty good. I've checked, and uh, I'm getting a, a lot louder signal than I thought I would be out of these lavaliers. It must be because of the power plug-in power, 
But anyways, this is the Q Audio DAO4. And now I'm talking loud, testing out the loud talking. In case you're outside and you're talking in crowd, loudness, loudness. And then coming back down, seeing how the AGC handles the variations and modulations in my voice. Okay, now I've got my Sennheiser G3 wireless hooked up to the GoPro Hero 3. And I've got on the receiver, I've got the receiver set to where I normally set it, which is negative 18 dB on the AF out. And on I'm using the Q DAO4 lavalier, and when I use that, I normally set it on the transmitter to a sensitivity of zero dB. So this is how I would normally set it when I'm using it uh, going directly into my EX1 camera. So let's just see how this sounds. Talking loudly, talking loud, because you never know when someone's gonna pop off and talk loud. And now coming back down, I'm just trying to uh, see how the noise level is, signal to noise ratio, and uh, the modulation of the AGC is reacting to my voice. So there we go, first check of the Sennheiser. Okay, now we're listening to my Rode Lavalier plugged into my Sennheiser G3 wireless unit plugged directly into the GoPro Hero 3 and I've got my settings the way I normally set them going into my EX1 camera and that is with the AF out on the receiver set to negative 18 dB and the sensitivity of the transmitter set to negative 12 dB. So that's how I normally use it when I'm using Rode Lives. So let's see how it sounds. And now I'm speaking a little bit louder, checking out loud talking with the Rode Lavalier, and now checking out quiet talking with the Rode Lavalier, and now checking out normal presenter type talking volume to see how these all sound. I hope they sound great because I want to get great audio with not too much trouble into my Hero 3. Okay, now I've got my Sankin COS 11D lavalier, and it's under my shirt using the Vampire Clip, and that's how I usually use this, because it's a brighter mic, and it's great for hiding under clothes. And I've got it set to the same settings as I had on the road. That's a negative 12 dB sensitivity and a negative 18 dB AF out. Talking loud, checking out the loud talking, and we're gonna see how that is. And uh, so this is a great mic to hide under clothes, like I said, and uh, would be great if you got uh, your subject and you wanna hear what they're saying as you're filming them with the GoPro. This might be how to do it. And why don't I just check and see how it sounds a little less sensitive. because this is a sensitive mic. Now I've set the sensitivity to negative 15 dB, so we'll see how that works out with the Sankin COS 11D. And again, loud talking with the Sankin COS 11D, hidden under my shirt with the vampire clip, and I'm speaking quieter. We'll see if that AGC brings up the volume. It just might sound so sweet, speaking so quietly. So there you have it, a bunch of different microphones going into the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition and it's by no means an all-inclusive test, but I think I've discovered that it is possible to get some really nice audio using the Hero 3 and I might have to fine tune some of my settings, but from what I've heard so far, I'm pretty happy with the results and I'm gonna review this closer and see which one works best for me in whichever setting. So I hope I've helped you to discover what might work for you to get some better audio into your Hero 3. This is Chad Johnson, I'll catch you next time.